What's up everyone, Shane here with ROA Off-Road. Today I have an exciting video to share with you. If you haven't been watching, JD from Big Truck Big RV, he came by and we did some cool video tours with him. Amazing guy, go check out his channel. But we did one video where we went over the entire lineup here at ROA Off-Road. And today I actually wanna go repurpose this video. He told us we could reshare it on our channel, but we wanted to do a quick little intro. There was two trailers that were missing in that video. Um, Kimberly Campers from Australia. We didn't have any on site at the time. And also the Romer X backed by ROA Off-Road and built by High Altitude. We didn't have those here to sh showcase. So we definitely wanted to show you those trailers before we got over to JD to go through a walk around and a tour of every single one of our trailers that we offer here at ROA Off-Road. ROA Off-Road, we have an experience center here in Utah and in South Carolina, and we have the entire lineup of all of these trailers at both of our facilities. Reach out to us to see all of these trailers, but we're gonna turn it over to JD and let him do a walk through and show off all of the trailers that ROA Off-Road offers. What's going on guys? So you are in for one heck of a treat. You know, the mountains in the background right there are probably a treat enough for most people, but we are here at an absolutely fantastic RV dealership. Not just a dealership, but they're kind of a manufacturer in a sense as well because they produce a pretty awesome RV. We are here at ROA Off-Road, which is RVs of America. They are essentially an RV dealership that specializes in extreme off-road capable RVs. Some brands you may have heard of, some brands you may have never heard of, but they have set up a huge selection of what they have here. And I'm gonna be here for the next few days going through virtually all of these. But with me today, I have one of the owners of ROA Off-Road. This is Shane. Shane, how are you doing? Doing great, nice to meet you. You know, it's been a long time coming and we've been communicating back and forth for almost a year actually yeah. and he's like you know you got to come out here he knows that i, I featured some off-road rvs on the channel a little bit um i've spent some time in black series which you guys were like one of the first black series yes. dealerships yeah, we were. yep and, and kind of interestingly enough the first black series that i featured at rvx here in salt lake city was one of the ones you guys yeah, actually it was, had it was ours yeah we yeah. took it up and set up the entire show and got a lot of got a lot of comments on that video you did so that was really cool very cool but you know what's what's really interesting about this whole setup here is that there are brands again that I've never heard of there are brands out here that look so cool so unique and if you want to talk about off-road off-road capable some of these brands are going to be instantly recognizable to the off-road community especially those who consider the only true off-road worthy RVs are the ones that come from Australia well I think there's a few of those out here as well, aren't there? Yeah, yeah, so we, we've been um, importing. We have some that are like imports from China. We have some Australian stuff. We have South African stuff. And then of course, as of late, we got some stuff that's being made and manufactured in the United States of America. And that's kind of one of the reasons why I really wanted you to come out is not to see everything here, but also some of the new American brands that nobody's yeah. seen yet. That stuff is some of the most exciting. And that really matters to a lot of folks too. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people want to know that you can get high quality manufactured RVs here in the States, because as much as, you know, when it comes to tools, when it comes to other things that are manufactured here in the States, RVs RVs are for the most part manufactured here in the US, but there's always been this stigma of quality issues, of yes. things falling apart, things just not lasting, things that aren't built very well, things that don't have a lot of heart put into them whenever they're being assembled. And I think the products that we're gonna go over over these next few days are gonna change people's opinions on what American manufacturing can do when it's done correctly, yes. right? Yes, for sure. So real quickly, would you like to kind of go over where we're at? Because uh, I, all I know is that I was picked up in the airport or from the airport in this absolutely beautiful power wagon uh, with some really, really cool upgrades. And we'll talk about that here in a second. But then I was taken out here to this absolutely beautiful location. Look at that backdrop. 
Well, I was telling him earlier, people pay a lot of money to look at the ocean and to look at the mountains. And this is probably the best view of mountains that you're gonna get. It's it's just such a beautiful backdrop. Yeah, it's, like a, it's like a Bob Ross backdrop. Yeah, that mountain right there is almost 12,000 feet, you know, beautiful snow capped on the other side is Sundance where the Sundance Film Festival is held and beautiful, Absolutely. beautiful area. We're about 45 minutes south of Salt Lake City. So you flew in and we picked you up and just brought you down south a little way. So really close. A lot of people fly out here almost every day to come and look at our products because we carry a very unique lineup and some of the trailers we carry you can't see anywhere else in America. We're the only ones that carry and have some products on the ground. We do have two facilities and we don't call ourselves a dealership. We call ourselves an experience center, as you see on the sign. So it's ROA Off-Road Experience Center and we have a location in South Carolina and we have a location in Utah. And we have units on the ground to be able to walk through. Essentially, we kind of like are trying to be the one-stop shop for everything off-road, off-grid when it comes to campers and trailers. And we do carry some of the best ones on the market that you can get in the United States. I'm gonna jump away from RVs real quick. Could you step away from your truck just for a second? Yes. Tell me what's going on here because a lot of folks might think, well, you know, he runs an experience center. They sell RVs, they got all this cool stuff, but what does he really know about off-roading? Well, so the funny thing is if you really wanna see us off-roading, the reason why we call ourselves an experience center is because we don't just sell trailers. We take them out, we use them, but we have a community of people that we call roamers and it derives from ROA, right? And then you add MER on the end of it. So when you buy a trailer from us, you become part of a community of roamers, right? And we have roamer adventures, we have roamer rallies, we have a property down by Zion National Park, the Grand Canyon and Bryce, and we call it Roamerland, and we do an event every September where people from all over the country that buy trailers from us come out and we hang out for a week, but then we, we've done adventures down in the Baja, down all over the place, Moab, where there are smaller groups, and those are called Roamer Adventures, not the Roamer Rally. But um, I'm first and foremost an off-road enthusiast. I love off-roading. And I've, I've owned Jeeps, I even owned a Land Rover at one point, um, went away from back to, you know, good old uh, Chrysler mm -hmm. <laughs> products, you know, or the Rams and huge fan of the power wagons. I like all, all, all the trucks. I'm not super hardcore one way or the other mm -hmm. for trucks, but I do drive the power wagon and I have lots of dents to prove that this goes off. Right? Yeah, this bumper isn't supposed to be here. By the way, this bumper's overlapping the back fender. That's that's not how it comes stock. Yeah, it's bent because <laughs> yeah. I've rammed it into stuff. And this is just one of our vehicles. We have a bunch of cool vehicles. Our rule here at ROA is if you work here for at least a year, you have to get a truck or find a new job. It's kind of a joke, but we- But we, it kind of makes sense at the same kinda, time. We kind of peer pressure everybody to getting a, a, an SUV or a truck is because we're like, we gotta, to, to me, it's like, you gotta practice what you, teach or preach, yeah, right? Yep. And we we want to be first users and then we just so happen to sell the trailers, right? It's, you know, it's hard to sell something and kind of really help people uh, find what they need to if you've not camped or used them. And, and that to me is one of my biggest beefs with the industry as a whole. I feel like a lot of salesmen and even manufacturers never use their products. And that's why you get some really weird designs and funky things that just don't work. Cause it's yeah. like, you're not camping in it. You gotta actually go out and use it. And so that, uh, and we don't even call our guys salesmen. We call them coaches, you know? Uh, Cause to us, it's more about kind of educating you and finding you, pointing you in the right direction of what works for you. Yeah, you know what was interesting? Uh, when we first talked, one of the things that I mentioned to Shane was, you know, I don't want this to be a salesy type segment where I come out here and they're just trying to pressure people to come and buy a unit. And he goes, that's not what we want to do either. We just want to show you what we have, what's available for those who are looking for that next level off-road camper. Because when it comes down to it, you know, sales folks do have to try to figure out how to use and understand their product. But more importantly, you guys use your product and that's the big difference. So Shane, what, um, what I want to ask you real quick, when it comes to off-road campers, when it comes to the capabilities of, you know, using a truck like this, somebody has an off-road vehicle, they have a vehicle that's truly designed to go off road like a power wagon and they want to get an RV that can meet that same requirement. They want to be able to take it out to, to state parks, BLM. They want to go to areas that 
most RVs would struggle. Would you say that every RV that you have out here on the lot, and by the way, we are gonna go through all of them. We're gonna do an overview of everything that's out here, and then we're gonna do individual videos on all of these. But would you say that everything that we're gonna show in the next video here is capable for doing at least mild to extreme off-roading? Yes, absolutely. So some of the trailers, quite frankly, are more capable than the truck that you'll be towing it with. Some of like talking off-road departure angles, breakover angles, uh, you know, those are the things that you talk about when you have a Jeep. What's the departure? What's the approach? Or, the, you know, some of these trailers have better departure angles than your truck will, which mm -hmm. means if your truck can get there, the trailer, not, not all of them, but some of them are superior to a stock power wagon. My, tr my power wagon's not stock, so it's pretty capable, but you know, if most stock, even off-road trucks, the, some of these trailers will be more capable. Uh, most of our trailers are like, uh, if a, an Airstream and a Jeep got married and they had a child, it would be uh, one of these. <laughs> Man, that would be a really, really, uh, that'd be a really tough kid. It's That'd be like the star football player, wouldn't it's, it? It's like a luxurious, beautiful off-roader. What is unique about this trailer is this is an all hard-sided trailer that can raise up and down. Similar to the Kimberly Caravan out of Australia, as far as we know, this is the first one in the US with this capability that's coming. In just a few short months, this will be available. We are taking orders now, but we wanted to give everybody an opportunity to see this awesome new trailer for the first time. Okay, what we have in front of us here is the uh, Scout truck campers. Um, we primarily are a travel trailer or, you know, off-road trailer dealer. That's mostly what we deal with. Uh, but we wanted to kind of diversify and lots of people reach out to us asking us about truck campers and so we kind of looked around the whole market and found these guys these guys originally are a canadian company they're now based out of washington state really cool they carry three different models but they're very minimalistic um, and they're kind of they're not too expensive which is nice to have that option um, but yeah scout awesome company very cool. Okay, now we're coming down to Texas. Yes, Texas, down in Houston, your neck of the woods, yes, I sir. Think, right? Um, so this is the Tiger Moth. Obviously, they carry a few different lineups, Taxa. Um, the founder originally worked for NASA, and so it's really cool. It's because very functional, right? He kind of really goes into like the space. They don't call themselves trailers; they're habitat. You know, and the idea about Taxa Outdoors is everything's better outdoors. So they really try to bring the uh, inside, outside, outside, inside type of thing. It's kind of like their uh, motto and what they do. Really cool company though. Um, and very light trailers. And, and these are some of our, I, I would say, more, uh, more on the affordable side for uh, an, an off-road trailer. You know, a lot of off-road trailers, one of the biggest complaints people have is the pricing, but it's typically, they're very, there's a lot of quality and a lot of expensive components that go into it. Uh, Tax has done a good job to keep, you know, the pricing more affordable. So, yep. and they have the, of course, the Cricket and the Mantis. I would say the Mantis is probably the most popular. Um, and it's great for families because you can sleep uh, four or even six people in there. And if you get the, there's a tent option, you could even sleep more than that. Yeah, I believe actually one of the folks at E-Trailer owns a Mantis. Okay. We went and uh, reviewed that while I was out there in St. Louis. That's awesome. All right, now we're moving to the Outback. Oh yes, this is the uh, Patriot Campers out of Australia. This this company is like superb in quality. Uh, we'll, we'll, I know we're gonna do more tours uh, this is, they're, they're like the perfect example of users. Um, the owner and his family, 
I mean, you can go, they have a YouTube channel, right? You go check them out. They're doing some of the craziest, you know, stuff with these trailers, truly testing them and pushing them to their limits. Um, they got a lot of cool, exciting, they're very innovative, a very innovative company. Um, I believe there's all the campers out there on the market are kind of copycats. Like these style trailers mm -hmm. are kind of copycats from Patriot. Got it. Some of the newer ones that you know on the market um, are, are kind of, you know, they, they're based Patriot, off of these. Yeah, yeah. Patriots has inspired, you know, yep. all of the tent trailer campers that you see on the market. Well, another very uh, popular brand in the RV industry for components is Red Arc. Yes. also out of Australia and I had a chance to meet with the Red Arc representative uh, in St. Louis a few months ago and I asked him what's your favorite Australian camper and he goes you know there's a lot of good ones but I'd have to say Patriot oh yeah for sure I mean and Patriot is is truly a camper right like this is this is an adventure vehicle this is something that you're going to take out uh, to remote places get you anywhere and really off the beaten path you can tow it with the jeep uh you can go check out you know overland x or trail recon those guys are glow like they're doing global adventures going down to mexico all the time with these trailers and they're getting in, get getting them into places essentially where your jeep will go this thing will kind of track behind it which is really cool so very cool let's move on so we're standing in front of the OBI, which stands for Outback Innovations. Um, now this is an import, so this tra these trailers are made in China, manufactured in China, but it's owned and operated by an American company. So very similar to the Black Series. Uh, the only difference is the quality and attention to detail on these is much, much better, right? They're, the owners, the owner is, he studied in Indiana for manufacturing, uh, worked in the RV industry in America. He went and moved out to Australia, saw how Australia was doing it and was like, man, we need to do this. And he synced up with a manufacturer overseas and started building and importing these to the US. Uh, definitely for an off-road, off-grid trailer, these are very, very simple. Also, they're, they're hybrids, they're all top tops. So a little bit lighter, a little bit, you know, smaller they, they pop into like the back sides of them slide in the beds inside of these are actually king size beds so because they open up and so like the actual floor space is pretty large surprisingly but when it all closes up they're relatively short and easy and to get off-road and very agile very cool let's move on okay so now that we're looking at another obi camper i wanted to make a comment something you said a second ago was they're manufactured offshore overseas um, Chinese manufacturer, but American owned company. Um, but then you made a follow up comment to that saying that they're like Black Series, but a much higher attention to detail of fit and finish quality. Um, what did you mean by that? Uh, I mean, uh, that, that could be a very, very long video, but the, the attention to details, the materials yeah. and the components, the putting together, the process of the building of them is at a higher level on these, but also all the components they use are just yeah. better. So it's kind of like the equivalent. I'm going to try to come up with a really weird comparison. There's a lot of high-end electronics, like smartphones, that are made in China. And there's a big difference between a low-end Chinese-built smartphone versus like an iPhone or higher-end phone yes. that may also yes. be built there. You know, and that, that was one of the reasons why we kind of moved beyond carrying them is because a lot of the components that were coming in, we couldn't even service them, right? Yep. They, were, they were unserviceable because there was no manuals, there were no support, you know, the heater was this Chinese and it only had Chinese writing on it. We couldn't even, like, you know, this carries the Truma, which is a German company, mm -hmm. right? Very reputable, considered one of the best out yep. there. Uh, the air conditioning is uh, is actually a under mounted bunk, which is an Australian company, the 9000. Uh, so you, you're just dealing with the medic, just better overall components. Mm -hmm. and and then also just the, the the detail to quality when we do a full tour you'll see like just the the cabinetry it's a solid wood yeah black series used the honeycomb which had issues with delamination you know as they, they got hot they would fall mm -hmm. apart so unfortunately and honestly 
you guys are still saying that even though you've sold a ton of Black Series. So you have a lot of customers with it and you're still servicing them because there's a Black Series right there, right yeah. behind this camper. So you guys still fully support the brand that you carried, right? Oh, for everybody that bought one from us, yes, 100%. If you bought a Black Series from us, they're in here, they're getting serviced. Usually they're unfortunately getting serviced. We're fixing the cabinetry is because it's breaking or delaminating. And a lot of times, you know, the furnaces are going out and we're putting in better furnaces. So we're 100% we're, we're supporting and servicing anybody that ever bought one from us we're just not recommending the new units that are being produced fair enough and that's not any bias really because the fact is you guys are still selling products that are still manufactured overseas but you're picking the ones that are manufactured with an attention to quality and detail well it's like the iphone it's like you said you know it's manufactured overseas it, to me what's super important is that it's american owned Yep. and operated that they're overseeing the process of manufacturing yep yep I and mean, a lot of people don't know because i've told him i'm big into mountain biking almost every mountain bike frame is manufactured overseas yeah even though the companies may be owned here in the u.s and the quality control the engineering the specs how it needs to meet a certain level of quality and craftsmanship is managed here in the u.s yeah just for certain cost and financial reasons they choose to do it overseas because they can put out a product that may actually be affordable put out a product that you can actually buy because when we get to some american-made products everyone's budget is different but you're probably going to see a little difference in terms of how much things cost when you bring all the manufacturing in the states oh for sure okay we're standing in front of the conquerors uh, these this company has actually been around for just over 30 years started out of south africa they actually built for the military um, and then they moved into the civilian sector and started making off-road trailers. Uh, but their, their motto is military tough. And these things are very, very robust. I'm um, a uh, really huge fan of these. Uh, and they have four different models. They have the UEV, which stands for um, Urban Escape Vehicle. Um, and they have the 440, the 490, the UEV 14, and the UEV 19. Um, and these ones are more uh, like canvas pop outs and we'll show you more tours. This one is the hybrid. So you have, you know, 75% wall and the pop up. And then you have the UEV 19 and that's a full solid wall construction, floor to ceiling. So would you say this is, this is South Africa's response to Australia's Patriot? Yeah, well, yes and no, but these existed before Patriot. Uh -huh. So some people will tell you, you know, these kind of inspired a lot of the off-road stuff in Australia, believe it oh, or wow. not. Um, it just depends on who you man, talk Man, those to. are fighting words, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, I'm going to see the comment section light up on yeah, that one. it depends on who you talk to. The Conquer has been around longer than almost any off-road manufacturer producer. Uh, Patriot's just over 10 years, right? Bruder might be going on 10 years which is a very iconic australian uh but these guys are all going on 30 years i want to tell you though this really looks cool when, when i say looks cool i mean you don't see doors like this on rvs you don't see this kind of stuff and we're going to dive into a lot more detail when we walk around this but i just had to point that out and by the way it's cold out here that's all frost so it's not any type of a, a weird surface yeah. I guess it is a surface layer of frost, but yeah, it's not anything bad going on. It's weird if it was in Texas. It would be very weird. Well, you and know, these last few years, we've had some pretty crazy weather, <laughs> so not too weird in certain parts, but man, these are beautiful. Yeah, these are very, very nice. And we'll get into the whole tours on these. One of the things I do want to mention is, and, and, and we'll get more into the full tours, uh, but almost all of these are independent suspension, which is very, very different from the standard RV leaf sprung, yeah. in America with leaf springs and solid axles. Uh, it just creates a tremendously better ride mm -hmm. than what you're gonna get on a standard trailer in America. Now, on a lot of these, um, I know you said independent and we'll talk about some of these other trailers, but do you do a lot of torsion axles here or are most of these actual coil sprung no. with shocks? Yeah, they're all like an A-arm with a coil and a gas shock. Yep. That's and I, like the I, most common. And I bring that up because I know there are brands that people are seeing out of Indiana yes. that have what they call independent suspension. It's a torsion style suspension. I'm sure you're extremely yeah. familiar yeah. with it, but that is an entirely different realm of suspension than what you're seeing here. That suspension is an improvement over leaf sprung suspension to yes. a degree, but 
The suspension you're gonna see on these trailers when we do full deep dive tours of them are gonna just completely blow you away because it's it's an entirely different level of suspension you're gonna get on something out here versus you know something that has a, a torsion style suspension. Oh yeah, absolutely. It, and it's to me, it's the difference towing one of these trailers the difference between driving a Cadillac and driving an, an old 80s truck, you know, that mm -hmm. had all solid axles and, you know, leaf springs. Like when you hit a bump, your whole body is jarred. You get in a Cadillac, we hit a bump, the suspension is what's, you know, moving, yeah. not your body. And so for like actual off-road purposes, that's what you want, right? You want to be able to hit a washboard road you know, going 40 miles per hour and have the trailer not just jarring and falling apart. You know, you want to, and, and even on road, it actually is going to be superior yeah. long term, right? Yep, absolutely. Okay, so what do we have in front of us here? So right here, this is a this is an American company, uh, which we are really excited about. Um, this is a company that's out of Wisconsin. They're, they're Imperial Outdoors. And this is actually their last year model. Um, they there are there are some 2023s that have been built, but they've essentially um, discontinued this one. But there's still a lot in the market, so I wanted to show it off. And we're getting a lot of trade-ins because of their new models that they just released for 2023, um, which we'll get to over here in just a second. Um, so these guys uh, they started out as making fish houses, right? And so. The whole design behind these is they're made to go to 40 below zero because he goes up, sits on the ice, you know, lake and fishes in 40 below zero in Wisconsin on the Canadian border, right? Uh, so walls, roofs, they're anywhere from three. The, the, the roof on this is six and a half inches thick. Wow. It's, it's massive, right? Um, we actually put a hot tub on one of these on our YouTube channel. You gotta go check that video out. Yeah. <laughs> like a 2,000 pound hot tub, which was fun. Um, I've had these in below zero degrees camping in them, and they are actually really superb. Uh, but this is their new model. They have two new models. Um, this one is the X145, and then next to it is the 195. And essentially, they've just made them way more uh, uh, off-road capable. Uh, they've taken a lot of the Australian design actually. Um, so when, when we actually met, met up with these guys on this old design, uh, they actually did use a solid axle. And we said, hey, you're doing a, a lot of cool things, but it's still not as off-road capable as what we see from coming from Australia or even the imports. And so we said like, essentially like you gotta make it more like an Australian trailer, mm -hmm. but here in America, and that's what they've done. You know, he, so uh, the owner sourced all the suspension from Australia, Cruise Master, uh, and this thing is, you'll see the full tour. They're, they're beautiful trailers. I can tell you're excited to, to show me this <laughs> I really one. I love them. Uh, and, and another thing with the suspension is articulating hitches. And I, I always say, if you, don't, if you don't have an articulating hitch, it's not an off-road trailer. Because the worst thing you can do is when you're going into a wash, if you're on a ball, you're gonna get caught up, right? And potentially could pop off yeah. the wall. With this, you're you're able to articulate, right? Your truck could be up on a wall right there. And in every direction you're articulating, which is which is what you want. It's because if your trailer's on camper going in one direction, the truck's going in another yep. direction, that's what you Something's want. Something's gonna give. Yeah. If you're if you have a standard ball hitch, you're gonna you're gonna twist and torque the trailer too much, right? And I've experienced this a lot over the years of just driving a big motorhome into a gas station. Sometimes when I go up onto the cement pad, right? And the half the trailer's off and on, the whole trailer's kind of twisted and I can't open the door sometimes, yeah. right? It gets all out of whack. Um, so with this, you're not gonna have those issues because this is what's gonna be turning mm -hmm. and moving, you know, while you're going off-roading or the suspension too. Very but this cool. is the larger, this is the big brother. Uh, this, is the, this one's about 26 feet end to end we'll get more into that um insulation properties on these are just superb so whether you're going to 40 below zero or over 100 degrees in texas right these trailers on the market are going to be one of the best for yeah. and you can just tell by looking in the window right here how thick these walls are yeah they're just about three inches thick yeah which and it's uh, it's a composite material too. So oh, that's cool. No aluminum structure. So you have no thermal bridging, hot or cold. It's all composites, which is kind of the way of the future. In my opinion, I think more and more manufacturers are going to go to a composite material 
Now, next to us, uh, I have some familiarity with these because I think I'm the first YouTube channel that actually revealed this product. And I think I told you about this product. Then you told me, yeah, you're actually gonna get some. So, yes, Palomino yeah. Paws. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. This is this is equally as exciting as Imperial Outdoors because this is an American company as well. Not I, Well, not just an American company, but a very, large it's a it's a volume american company palomino yes. they're not they're not a small mom and pop shop no, they are owned by one. forest river yep you know which five billion dollar company um which which you know could lead to potentially a really good thing for the industry you know because they have the ability to push some change also if they get too focused on volume it could also lead to something bad yes, right not absolutely. making the quality so we're uh, from what I've experienced so far, it's been nothing but good. And I do want to make one disclaimer really quickly. We don't sell these here in Utah. Um, these are out here for marketing and video purposes only for you and for us. Great. Um, our South Carolina dealership actually is the one that carries these. So if you want to see them in person, you got to go to our South Carolina dealership or look up, go to Palomino and look up their dealer network because they have a dealer in Utah already. And then when we get to this unit in our video tour, uh, what I really want you to do for me is explain what you love about it, as well as the things that you find different, possibly some criticism between the brands that you have been yes. carrying yes. and what they're doing right, and maybe some misses. Because I think that's a good idea. It'd be interesting to kind of see what uh, what you feel you know this product is capable of just based off of what you've seen so far. For sure, for sure. Yep. And then you got yeah. another one next to it. Yeah. So this is the XC twenty point two, and this is the XC twenty point three and we'll get into those full tours we saved it for uh, hold, 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 I, and i'm not 100 percent sure i want to show this in this video because this is kind of the main reason i came out here so we could see this really awesome u.s manufactured rv that that i'm gonna say i don't think it's and correct me if i'm wrong here i don't want to say it's better than everything out here but it sure as heck puts a hurting on them oh yeah and and it's exclusive to us so it, it is actually manufactured by imperial outdoors which makes the green one we were standing by but it's exclusive to roa and uh it is the all new roamer one we're not going to get too close to it this is a tease i want to show this thing we will do a full video walkthrough on this unit you will see everything this is about all the pros Maybe we'll even find a few cons. We'll find some cons, don't worry. But man, this thing is super cool. Anyways, guys, I am gonna be out here for the next few days, shooting and scooting and trying to make sure that we uh, we get you as much information on these units as possible. So if you are looking for, I'm not gonna say an off-road inspired RV, there's tons of off-road inspired RVs, right? You can get a, a mini Winnie or you can buy like <laughs> some Jayco products that they'll put some some big tires, faux rock sliders on the side and, and big Westlake tires on them. and and a torsion suspension well, they flip the axles or they flip the axles like, but the reality is is those are off-road inspired it's yeah. kind of like looking at a pickup truck that says four by four but has no discernible like features that make yeah. it a true off-road vehicle yeah the the rvs that you have here at your experience center are true off-road true off-road tested and capable rvs even if you're just going to keep these things on the highway oh yeah they're just going to perform well. Well, yeah, and it's the solid axles that just rattle the trailer so much, right? And that's when the screws and the bolts all come out and it starts falling apart. So it, to, to, it's like what you were saying. You know, you can get a 2500 Ram that says 4x4 on it, or you can get a power wagon that's actually upgraded suspension with yeah. lockers and sway bar disconnects or a Jeep, right? So it, it is, these are really more like Jeeps, you yeah. know, like trailer Jeeps. Yeah, and, yeah, and, and not, they're not just saying we're an off-road where we we'll put big tires on it and, and a sticker. It an off-road, yeah, and a sticker. Yeah, exactly. Shane, I really appreciate it. Super excited, guys. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up. We will talk to you again very soon.